Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Recently, I updated to Manjaro 20.10. And when you haven't done so, I really advise you to do so if you want to use Nbox, which is sort of like a virtual machine or an emulator for Android. So with this icon, you can see if your system is up to date or not. And when it has a small red dot, then there's probably an update waiting. And you can also trigger it yourself by going to system, add remove software. And go to updates. Well, in my case, I'm already up to date. So I'm going to install Anbox. And we have to install both parts. And I have to admit that I already tried this before, but it seemed that with earlier versions, with an older Linux kernel, uh, well, you can just apply all this. Uh, you had to do some manual stuff to get it working. And with the new version, 20.10, I think it comes with the Linux kernel 5.8. It should be really easy to install and run Nbox. And I already tested it on my other Pinebook Pro. And I have to say it feels very, very slow. It is workable, but I would have expected a bit more speed. And perhaps this is because the OpenGL support is yeah, not really good at the moment. I think reason, uh, yeah, recently, after the announcement that NVIDIA is going to buy ARM, that ARM announced that they are going to support the open source community better by giving more information on how to address the video parts or the GPU. And that should improve the OpenGL support, but that is something that will come with later releases. Well, Nbox is installed. And you can just search for it. And yeah, I didn't really look at any documentation or anything, but I think you have to start with run Nbox. And then you might think nothing happens, but I think it's just some sort of initialization. And when we run Anbox itself now, it says starting. And hopefully it is going to start. And I didn't think I had to reboot. I'll just see if anything is happening. I see Anbox there. It's not using that much CPU. Hmm. Now 
that just gone. Let's see, let's try that again. Android in a box. Here it is again. Not doing that much. Press it again. So I'm going to reboot and see if that improves things. Okay, I rebooted, so I'm gonna try again. Fingers crossed. And here it is. So apparently after you did the start and box, it's a good thing to reboot. Now you have very limited amount of apps. Fdroid is installed. And because Android is more touch based, so no need to double click, just single click. And one of the things I think is missing from a, let's just say, default installed app is a browser. And luckily you can find one in the App Store. And hopefully updating repositories won't take too long. Okay, so as I said, it doesn't feel very fast. And I think, what was it again? iSCAT? iSCAT mobile web browser. So we're going to install the iSCAT mobile web browser. And for instance, you can also find a super tux card. I already tested it, it doesn't work. Um, Probably the OpenGL support is still limited and we really have to wait for an update of Penfrost, I think. So for now, I'm going to close the Fdroid store. Here is the web browser. So you can make it full screen. 
here you can type it also pops up a software keyboard but of course your hardware keyboard still works and yeah let's just say you want to go to a search engine okay no that's not what I wanted ah yeah well apparently I double clicked and then clicked on this one so let's just say we want to search for something about Linux well that's all I'm going to do for now uh, as I said before it doesn't feel very fast and do I recommend using it using Nbox I would say if you don't really have to probably wait for some more updates that's probably when we get better OpenGL support, things will get faster and perhaps also more games will work. On the other hand, it when you're really interested in running Android apps on your Pinebook Pro, then it doesn't hurt to install it and start playing around with it. But don't expect a very nice user experience at the moment. So I'll keep an eye on this and I hope, let's just say by the beginning of next year that things have improved. And again, I'd say play around with it, but don't expect any miracles. That's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.